Hey everyone, welcome to the Guiding You Forward podcast presented by Mountain America Credit Union. Today we're talking about balance transfers and thankfully we have Matt Farrow with us. Hi Matt. Hi, how are you? Doing so good. Good. And let's let everyone in on Matt, why you can talk to us about this. It's because he's the Assistant Vice President of Payment and Deposit Products at Mountain America. Correct. So, I mean, if we want to learn about balance transfers, Matt's our guy. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us, Matt. Thank you. Happy to be here. Awesome. So what exactly is a balance transfer? So a balance transfer, it's kind of uh, self-explanatory a little bit. It's where you take a ba- an existing balance from one credit card and you move that over to another credit card with a different financial institution. And usually it's for people that are carrying a balance. Okay. Okay. So what are some of the benefits of doing this? Um, Commonly, people do a balance transfer really when it comes down to rate, right? So you're okay. in an existing card that maybe carries a higher um, a higher interest rate than than another card. Um, so people will do some interest rate shopping and move an existing balance that's in a higher rate into a lower rate card in an effort to try to pay down debt faster. Okay, okay. And this is a pretty good strategy in order to get out of debt faster? Absolutely, okay. yes. Okay. So when we're rate shopping at some of these different financial institutions, what do we need to be looking for? So financial institutions, back in 2010, the the Credit Card Act was passed and it required card issuers to be much more transparent and consistent in the way they display rates and fees. Um, So every card issuer will have a disclosure. It's it's formatted very similarly in a box so you can see very clearly what the rate is, if there's Mm -hmm. annual fees, what the late fees are, if there's a penalty for paying late. Um, those are all displayed very similarly across uh, credit card issuers. Okay. So it's important that people collect those and do some rate comparisons and, and pricing comparisons on fees and things like that. Okay. Because one thing I remember, my husband and I were looking into doing a balance transfer. Mm-hmm. Um, it was after we were first married, you know, bless our hearts, when we were single, Yep. you know. Um, we maybe didn't care as much about budgeting as we should have. Yeah. Um, love you, babe. Sorry, I'm giving away <laughs> all our secrets. Um, and one thing that we didn't realize until we were looking at the different um, options is some of them have annual fees, right? Right. So that was something that we were like, oh, is it worth the annual fee, yeah. even though the rate is saying it's lower, right. you know, and it ended up not being worth it to right. us. Yeah. So it was interesting to just... I don't know. Yeah, a lot of card issuers that charge an annual fee, they'll they'll do it to offset other expenses that people common commonly find very valuable. So you'll see with some of the airline cards, you'll get um, free baggage check and and um, additional points when you purchase uh, airline travel. So some of those things um, may pay for that annual fee, but it really just comes down to a kind of a balancing act of is is that really worth the annual fee that you're paying, and are you getting the benefit of the card that to offset that cost? Okay, so really I need to look at what I'm getting and how it's going to benefit Absolutely. me. Absolutely. What other things do I need to watch out for as I'm doing these comparisons across financial institutions? Sure. Um, I think introductory rate is a big lure. Um, we get these emails or uh, direct mail pieces that say 0% for 6 to 12 months. One thing that's really important to look at is what does that rate become after that promo period? Is it up in the 20s? Because that's that's pretty expensive. Yeah. Um, so if you can find a card that maybe doesn't have an introductory rate but has a very low rate over the course of the entire you know term of, of the credit card, um, that might be more beneficial than an introductory rate. Okay, okay, yeah, that's a good point. Or introductory to how long you can pay your debt sure. off, I don't know. Right, yeah, I think that's a really great strategy with an okay. introductory rate. If you're going to move into a into a card because of an introductory rate, really take, um, take advantage of that period. Pay as much down as you can while you're getting a 0% or a very low rate um, before that rate jumps. Okay, awesome. Um, so how do fees come into play sure. with all of this? Are there are there fees associated with doing a balance transfer? There can be. Okay. Um, a lot of issuers will um, actually give you a, a rebate when you do a balance transfer. So you'll see, like, like I said, introductory rates. You'll see um, cash back when you do a balance transfer. But you also have to watch, does, is there a different interest rate for a for a balance transfer there than there is just for regular purchase. Oh, um, okay. So that, that can apply as well. So just people need to be mindful of that. Okay, perfect. Well, Matt, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, and you guys, we have learned 
all we need to know about balance transfers. But if there's something else you do want to know, you can head on over to macu.com and we will provide a direct link so you can learn all the things about balance transfers as well. And thank you so much for joining us again. And we will see you all on the next episode of Guiding You Forward.